I welcome each participant. Uh, today, I am going to make presentation of our conference paper entitled as Sub-Image Histogram Equalization Using Good Optimization Algorithm for Segmentation and Parametric Selection. I am Emre Can Kuran. I am a master's student, and I currently work uh, as a research assistant at Bandirma Unida Eyal University. Uh, we have made <coughs> uh, we have made a, a presentation about a uh, similar topic uh, before. Uh, uh, now I am present making presentation of our novel study. Uh, in this study, as a summary, we have enhanced the performance of an image processing algorithm uh, by integrating it with a optimization algorithm for segmentation and parameter selection. So uh, let's go on with the details. First of all, uh, as most of, uh, most of us uh, know, there are factors that affect the quality of the image, uh, such as contrast, noise, and illumination. Uh, this is the perceptual quality, and uh, we can see if an image is high quality or low quality. Contrast is uh, one of these factors that affect the image quality. Uh, contrast is known as the difference between the darkest and brightest parts of an image. So, uh, since it is an important factor, uh, contrast enhancement is a significant field in image processing because it covers visual quality of the image. And histogram equalization is one of these contrast enhancement algorithms which is widely used. It depends on a few statistical tools and statistical analysis and tries to uh, improve the perceptual quality of an image. Uh, it uses tools such as probability density function, cumulative distribution function, and uh, su such transformation functions. Uh, it has many variants. Uh, this idea comes from the 70s and 80s in the past. Uh, first of all, it's used uh, in pilot cockpits for enhancing the image uh, taken from there. And now it has many variants, uh, especially from 1997s. Uh, there have been developed many variants, such as BBHE, the uh, Brightness Preserving by Histogram Equalization, Equal Area Dualistic Sub-Image Histogram Equalization, and so on, etc. Uh, but these variants are uh, not only limited with uh, these mentioned ones, uh, and there are many other variants, uh, such as uh, adaptive histogram equalization. Uh, the idea underlies uh, that is uh, dividing image pixels into groups and enhancing each of these groups separately. Mean and variance-based sub-image histogram equalization MVCA, is one of these methods uh, which showed an outstanding performance according to few studies in the literature. So uh, we will handle this and uh, try to optimize its performance. Uh, let's go to the next chapter. Uh, and uh, I will tell you uh, some important information uh, about the MVCA algorithm. Uh, MVCA divides image histogram into four regions according to the mean and variance difference and employs a delta parameter to fuse input and output image. Histogram segmentation points are determined by mean and variance values, hence they could be optimized. We propose a meta-heuristic optimization-based histogram equalization method for optimizing the results with good optimization algorithm that determines segmentation points. Now, uh, first of all, uh, we mentioned uh, BBHE. Uh, simple sub-image histogram equalization algorithms usually divide the image by its mean or uh, by its median and so on. And uh, the image is usually divided into two parts or the image histogram, the same things, uh, the pixel groups or the pixel range as uh, you can go as. Uh, but this algorithm divides the histogram into four regions, hence uh, it is uh, manually selected. The four regions are uh, these four regions are manually selected, and this is uh, provide uh, uh, this is made uh, by the 
uh, related others in their original study. But now uh, we will try to uh, determine these uh, regions according to the uh, met meteoristic optimization results. And this is uh, one of the uh, important contributions. As a difference, the original MVC algorithm uh, consists of five stages. Uh, the first one is histogram segmentation stage, a second one histogram beam modification, a third stage is the histogram equalization, fourth stage is the histogram normalization, and fifth stage is the image fusing. The histogram segmentation stage simply uh, segmentizes the histogram according to a uh, given condition, which I will cover in the next slide. Uh, and histogram beam modification overcomes the limitation of the dominance of the high frequency bits. The histogram equalization is the classical equalization but done in specific regions. Histogram normalization normalizes the image to uh, prevent artifacts. And image fusing fuses the input image and output image to provide uh, the most uh, possible high entropy. Uh, the COM MVC algorithm uh, instead segmentizes the histogram. Uh, by using QA. The uh, QA algorithm is a meta-heuristic optimization algorithm. I will also uh, go in details in the next slides. Uh, it's, it doesn't uh, modify, or MET doesn't uh, modify the other stages, but image fusing stage is also modifi modified to select the delta parameter. Let's talk about the QA algorithm. The QA algorithm is a novel optimization algorithm which is inspired from the behavior of good birds. Quad tries to simulate collective behaviors of the goods. Uh, the goods are directed by a few goods on the water surface. They have four distinct behaviors from observations, random movement, chain movement, position adjusting with respect to the group leaders, and leading the group towards optimal area. We need a mathematical model to implement these behaviors. Uh, as you uh, know, most of us know, uh, the meteoristics uh, are uh, very widely used in these days, and it uh, tries to imitate the uh, natural behaviors, as uh, the qua is one of them, and uh, tries to imitate the behavior of the good birds. As we said uh, in the previous slide, it imitates the behavior of the goods. Let's uh, talk about the details. Uh, first, uh, since we have an optimization problem, uh, we need to initialize a population. This population tries to uh, artificially find the best uh, code and accept this as a solution. Accept that code as a solution. Uh, so let's go uh, down and explain the <coughs> pseudocode. Uh, first, we initialize the first population of the codes randomly by equation one. Since we have a multi-dimensional problem, we determine the dimension size and upper and lower bounds. Secondly, uh, we initialize termination crit criteria, uh, probability P, number of leaders, and number of goods. Uh, then we determine the uh, number of goods by extracting them from the uh, subtracting them from the number of leaders. Uh, random selection of leaders from the goods uh, is done. Then we calculate the fitness of goods and leaders uh, because we need to determine the best solution. We also determine a fitness function. I will also uh, explain the fitness function in the next slides. Uh, calculate the fitness uh, of goods and leaders. Uh, this is done because we need to determine the best solution again, as I say. And then uh, we find the best code or leader as the global optimum while uh, the end the criterion is not satisfied uh, because uh, the termination cr criteria uh, can be a number of iterations or other conditions such as error rate. Then uh, we calculate parameters named A and B uh, by equation 5. Equation 5 can be given as uh, there from you, you can see the equation five 
uh, it is found by uh, ti uh, t, uh, for, ex for example the a can be found by subtracting uh, this uh, expression from the one and we can also uh, determine the random vectors uh, then uh, we move the uh, codes by this uh, position vectors and then update them and at each iteration if the fitness of the code uh, since we uh, try to minimize the uh, optimization problem if the fitness of the code is smaller than the other code uh, then we select this as a leader uh, now for the number of uh, leaders we determine the fitness of the uh, leaders and find the best uh, i won't uh, tell so much detail about the equations but as you can see uh, the things are uh, done randomly uh, since it is uh, an optimization problem uh, according to the equations on the left now uh, if we talk about the mvc algorithm uh, the input image histogram is divided into two sub histograms uh, using a threshold k in the first stage. Uh, the probability density function PDF of these two parts are computed. Then for the first separation level k, two variables namely omega sub 0 and omega sub 1 can be given as equation one. Uh, equation one. We need to compute uh, the omega 0 and omega 1 from these equations. Uh, then mean of each part uh, mu uh, 0 and mu 1 can be given as an equation 2 we also calculate the means uh, then uh, we uh, compute the um, the total uh, the total mean and uh, variance uh, then we separate the image histogram according, according to this variance after that we also separate uh, we also determine the other separation points according to uh, these equations. We go from 1 to 5 and repeat this cycle. So we uh, finally have four distinct regions. Uh, and then we need to uh, modify the histogram bins. Uh, this is done uh, because uh, we want to prevent the domination of the high frequency frequency intensity levels and our image uh, is not going to uh, become a very bright image uh, and uh, we use the uh, exponential function for doing this because uh, the nature of the exponential function provides uh, this, these uh, features for us uh, and we uh, obtain the modified PDF for each part. The histogram equalization is done separately for each part and because uh, we don't need to miss the details in uh, these distinct regions. A transformation function which considers the upper and lower boundaries of the sub-histogram is used in this case. Hence, a scaled HE is made and each of the intensity uh, levels is equalized in its own range. Uh, the details are preserved better. The normalization is applied distinctly for each sub-histogram. Brightness saturation and artifacts might occur, so uh, we apply normalization. Uh, we merge the distinct histograms, distant, distinct sub-images, uh, we, so we need to do this. The image fusing is uh, done because uh, it prevents the uh, loss of details and we provide more details to the user. Uh, for this purpose, the original input image and output of uh, equation 10 are fused uh, for the aim of preserving more information in the final image. The delta parameter is selected for determining the fusing rate, which is in the range of 0 to 1. Now, the proposed method uses COA to determine the segmentation points and the delta parameter according to the fitness function given in equation 12. Uh, we use the BRISQ and the NIC metrics uh, because they are referenceless and uh, they are independent of the 
uh, image type and they are trained on a very uh, very very large data sets image data sets uh, and they can handle uh, very distinct images very different uh, types of images and um, Am I missing anything? Not. Um, so I can uh, go to the next slide. Uh, the aim of uh, fitness function is to converge to the optimum solution. Each member of the population is evaluated using the determined fitness function with respect to the problem type. Because it is tried to enhance the image using QA in this study, fitness function should be opted such that minimum distortion occurs in the resultant image. Uh, we selected uh, Brisk and Nick and a lower score of these metrics uh, means that a better quality is achieved. So uh, we try to minimize this problem uh, using the QA optimization algorithm. Uh, the nature of the optimization algorithms uh, provides that uh, the problem type, uh, even if uh, maximization or minimization, it's tr it tries to uh, minimize or maximize the uh, fitness score. So uh, these metrics are developed to measure quality without needing any reference for uh, various kind of distorted images, as mentioned before. Hence, we don't need any adjustments for each image or a pre-trained model. The method is adaptive to the content and it can give you the result in a few seconds. We used a digital knee x-ray image dataset, uh, which I provided a reference in the original paper for enhancing the knee x-ray image. The images are obtained using Protect PRS 500E x-ray machine. Uh, the dataset includes images with labeled several levels with the help of two distinct medical experts. In this study, we used the image contained in subfolder medical expert one for evaluating our method since great uh, before evaluating the uh, proposed we converted the image into a grayscale image before evaluating, evaluating the proposed method uh, because we apply histogram equalization. We can also do it uh, for the color image by converting them to H HCV and then co um, equalizing the v, v channel and then converting it back to the uh, RGB color space. Um, the images are same and only labels differ the, because, and the other subfolder is ignored. Uh, you can see the uh, details of the data set in the table uh, below uh, and what their bit depth uh, types of image, total number of image, uh, etc. are given in this table. And the performance evaluation results, uh, we, our method yielded a low MB value and a high PC, PSNR value and a high SSI value according to uh, this table and it outperformed uh, most of the methods in the literature as you can see and at least competitive it showed a competitive performance also um, the MB is the uh, difference of the mean brightness uh, so we uh, take the mean of the uh, pixels in the image and subtract them and take, take the absolute value, and we uh, get this result. The PSNR uh, also uh, shows the quality of the signals, a higher PSNR, uh, but uh, better quality. This SSI is the structured similarity index. Uh, the structure of your image should not uh, be manipulated uh, so much that uh, such that uh, it's loss of its details and the similarities imported in this case we try to enhance the uh, intensity uh, enhance the contrast not the, uh, we don't want to change the structure of the image so structured similarity index is very very important as you can see uh, the zoomed one and uh, you can inspect the um, values of the metrics Now, uh, if we talk about the visual results, our method also provided better visual results as compared to the other methods. Uh, we can see a 
uh, an important improvement on the visual quality of the image according to the original image and uh, the resultant image of the other methods uh, because our uh, method did not leave any artifact on the image and nearly uh, as possible uh, and saturation is less as we uh, compare to the others uh, you can see uh, the uh, results of our method for, uh, at far right as if i want to show you now uh, i think you can see better uh, this is the results of our image uh, image enhancement algorithm now if we want to inspect the uh, convergence curves uh, we have tried different uh, situations we initialized 10 iterations 50 iterations and 100 iterations and our algorithm converge to the minimum uh, as and this convergence is enhanced as we increase the number of iterations the proposed method is uh, adaptive uh, that is it can find the optimal parameters uh, for the enhancement of a wide variety of images it doesn't need any pre-trained structure its parameters could be changed according to the device type for gaining more performance such as uh, decreasing number of iterations and so on However, uh, its stability should be considered when a more stable enhancement technique is needed, uh, especially for the critical systems. Also, changing parameters may increase or decrease the success of the enhancement task with respect to the data type. We proposed a method combining COA with MVC uh, uh, for the enhancement of the knee X-ray image. Experimental results uh, show that our method outperforms most of the other, other cutting edge methods, or at least shows a competitive performance. Visual results also indicate that our method provides a balanced enhancement for most of the images in the used dataset. Hence, the proposed method can support various supervised models by performing preprocessing tests, uh, which might be employed to increase the classification success in the further studies. Thank you for listening, all. If